pleasure for me to talk about uh, tray optimization and efficiencies in the R, uh, the impact of a novel sealed sterile container technology. As an introduction, surgical procedures generate a large amount of waste and are highly inefficient. Um, bundle payments and migration to the ASC and orthopedic surgery have led to different approaches to increase the R efficiencies and lowering costs. Especially true for total knees, which is one of the projects we started about five years ago. It's estimated 1.3 million cases will be formed in this year alone. Approaches to increase efficiencies in total knees have been patient-specific instrumentation, single-use instrumentation, surgeon initiatives to reduce the amount of instrumentation and number of surgical trays, and the overall goal is to decrease our turnover time, the number of trays that must be processed, and saving money. <clears throat> Traditional sterile processing requ requires a use of typically blue wrap instrumentation, requires a long dry time, sterilization of greater than 50 minutes, and typically leads to perforations, tears, and wet packs. And that usually occurs for me, 3.30 to 4 in the afternoon when no one's around, as well as a large amount of wasted produce. The novel sterile sterilization containers is one tray. Uh, it's a steam sterilization system with a ultra filtration system. Sterilization time is approximately 20 minutes. There is no dry time. There is no cooling time and returns to the operating room usually about 25 to 30 minutes. They expect moisture to be in the tray and that moisture is sterile. Traditional blue wrap sterilization cumulative time is approximately an hour, uh, an hour and a half before it returns to the OR. So one tray is an FDA cleared rigid sterilization container intended to hold a temperature tolerant medical devices during a steam sterilization cycle. It provides a safe tra transport and assured delivery of enclosed devices in a sealed container with a storage period. <clears throat> the evolution uh, of one tray started probably about four years ago, and then we combined it most recently with another addition called Easy Tracks. I'll walk you through that. <clears throat> the purpose was to decrease the number of surgical trays needed per case, to decrease the tray processing time, therefore the number of sets of instruments, maximize the number of cases performed in one day, and eliminate blue wrap and the need for any loaner trays. So the evolution started back when we were doing classic manual total knees, which everyone would recognize. We then modified the trays, and we called that phase two, modified total knee trays. We introduced in phase three, the one tray system. 2016, we introduced the a make a robotic one tray total knee. And the final phase over the last year and a half has been a robotic one tray, easy tracks. We'll walk you through it. Classic manual total knees, as you all know, can be striker. We use striker, seven striker total knee trays, one power tray, one large bone set, two OR tables, two Mayo stands, 10 total trays, all blue wrapped for sterilization. What we did was we looked at things in the back basin and we modified the total knee trays. Striker and Zimmer and all the industries provide more equipment than you need, so we make modifications. We create these loose trays that used the, um, <clears throat> used the trial implants and the punches and the guides that we needed. So we modified this down to two striker total knee surgical trays, one power tray, that didn't change, one large bone tray. We got it down to one OR table, two mail stands, and we got it down to four trays, all blue wrapped. We introduced the third phase, one tray, and one tray effectively took all the seven trays in blue wrapped and isolated them into two one trays. <clears throat> the third phase is we took the one tray sterilization process and we put the modified total knees in the one tray sterilization. What you can see there around the perimeter, there's a lot of wasted space. The one trays come a certain size and our modified trays left a lot of space around the perimeter. So we'll come back to that in a bit. The one tray system, we added a knee holder. So we did add one extra one tray, but that was mainly for the knee holder. 2016, we uh, introduced the Maker Robotic system. And initially you think, Introducing the robots can introduce complexity and more equipment. Actually, it reduced a vast majority of equipment. 
So phase four was a robotic one tray total mean. And you can see on the right, three one trays, and you still had two trays for power. That's the back table representing a, a robotic one tray total mean. Again, this is the view of our modified robotic one tray total mean. And again, if you look around the perimeter, there's quite a bit of space between our modified trays and our one tray, which we're going to address in phase five. Phase four was the robotic one tray. We got it down to one back table, two mail stands. And that's either a unilateral or a bilateral. Introduction of Easy Tracks was about a year and a half. This is a patent modular organization system, provides customized solution to improve management of medical devices throughout the perioperative process. Basically, I call it a tinker toy set. You can set up the trays any way you want. They lock into place and they've been customized per procedure, customized per surgeon. So the final phase that we've introduced over the last year is robotic, one tray, and easy tracks. These are the trays, we modular. We put them together as modular units. You can see on the right, rather than having loose trays, we're creating caddies for the trials on the far right. All the punches and the manual tools that we use are in the middle, and the robotic uh, tools are far, far left. That's our current back table of the robotic one tray and easy tracks. It's just a back table and two mail stands. And if you look closely at the tray of trials, you'll notice that they're all in individual caddies. So we have one more phase we're gonna introduce. Uh, we'll briefly talk about it next. So rather than have a tray of every trial available, we've actually introduced caddies. And so the caddies are specific size, uh, size tibia and size uh, femur. So that whole tray you can remove, and then when you get to the part where you want to use a trial, you can open up a specific reusable trial. So what you're seeing now is our robotic one tray easy tracks that we currently use. Two trays, one module that's opened at the time, and <clears throat> that's all we use for the robotic system. So the one tray and easy track system, it's a rapid sterilization system, helps to eliminate all loaner trays. Uh, what we've done quite easily is nine total knees performed by one surgeon using two rooms with only three sets of equipment, and we're pretty much home by 530. No loaners at all, no blue rep. So what we did was try to look at efficiency. So we took process one, which was manual total knee, to process five, or process two, which is a robotic total knee with easy tracks, and we compared, not the surgical time, we compared everything that occurs outside of the uh, skin incision. The classic manual total knee, seven vendor trays, blue wrap sterilization versus robotic easy tracks total knee, sterilizing using utilizing the one tray system. We collected data points in the OR. We collected preoperative setup, postoperative clean down. We did not look at surgical time. We looked at central supply decan decontamination, tray assembly, and sterilization. It's quite a visual on the right. Easy tracks and the one tray difference. In the OR, it's approximately five minutes quicker to open up three trays versus seven. Central supply uh, is 12 minutes faster. Sterilization is 40 minutes faster. Combined difference is just under an hour per procedure. Estimated savings over time at $62 a minute is $186,000. Uh, central supply employees uh, is about $6,000. Sterilization, four less trays. At, that's fairly rate, fairly cheap. At $60 a tray is $140,000. This is based on 600 total knees. Total savings, $330,000 uh, for 600 knees. So one tray, easy tracks combination addresses everything that occurs outside of the surgical procedure that affects your day, that affects the cost, it affects your time, it affects the efficiencies of the OR. And one tray easy tracks has been a simple solution to a complex problem. Our next phase, honestly, is to tackle total hips and then expand this into pretty much every orthopedic procedure. Thank you.